So if you got a system that's trainable, do you have uh, trade partners who can deliver training and onboarding? Um, you need assets that go with this, right? And so, um, and it's like every other form of communication, they need to be multi-channel. There's digital, there's print, there's stuff that's interactive on an in-person basis, there's stuff that's interactive on a video conference basis. All of these different delivery paths require kind of a different um, set of assets. So it could be user flyers and one sheets and hang tags. Video, I think, is really important because there's a lot of experiential stuff and we can kind of show that videographically and we'll, we've got an example of that. And then, like I said, the interactive training materials as well. Um, this is an example of some of your stuff Speak yeah. to that. So some of what we, this is an example of some of the assets that we, we provide for our partners. Um, we provide builder facing material as a reference point of if our builders have, if our partners have questions about the technology, the package, who the homeowner should reach out to. That's one set. We have a customer facing um, and really customers want to be routed to, they don't want to keep a piece of paper. They want to be routed to a place that has this information. So we do that through landing pages, um, through videos that are loaded onto the panel. And then the other piece we have here is a panel cling that we actually cling onto the wall. It doesn't damage anything, it's just a cling. Um, but it looks just like the panel. So the homeowner, when they're touring the home, when they are um, going through their final walkthrough with their construction team, that it's a trigger for the construction team of, oh yeah, remember you learned about this early on in the sales phase, that your home comes with technology or that um, this technology can be added. This is our partner. They're going to be reaching out to you if they haven't already to schedule time to train. Mm -hmm. I think we've got next this uh, system operation overview. Part of what I wanted to do is just kind of show you what does this look like? Because we could talk about it in the abstract, but I want to show you what good onboarding materials and edu initial education materials look like. Can we roll the video, please, Jeff? <laughs> I think that that whistle soundtrack has been used <laughs> on so many technology things. I guess when you're whistling, it says it's easy to do. I guess. It's good music. But what I liked is because I'm more of a hierarchical guy on the user interface, and swiping is not natural to me. I don't, I don't think first to swipe. I just went through this with some interface that we had. And so that it was teaching the swiping technique to people like me who don't like to swipe for three or four screens before it just started to swipe it itself. So that, that was cool. I mean, they see that's well thought through uh, human interface training, I think. And it's, it's in partnership, you, with your, your panel manufacturer on uh -huh, that? Uh-huh, with Qualsys yeah. on that. Yeah. And the thing with that is education goes beyond just those videos that we're downloading. We can push messages. So how great would it be if um, one of your warranty calls consistently is an issue with the furnace and all it is is a furnace filter that needs to be changed. We can push those messages through this Qualsys panel to send a reminder to those homeowners that um, it's time to change your furnace filter, click on the YouTube link to learn how to change your furnace filter, So, in, which lowers warranty calls. 
this education goes beyond just what we're doing. This can be implemented into an overall um, a customer experience, homeowner experience. Yeah, I think you're um, setting us up for the afternoon session where we'll talk about how the uh, cloud and the connections could be leveraged for maintaining more than just the technology. So thanks for that setup. Sure. Um, okay, so we've got a system that's trainable. We have selected an integration or some trade partner who can do the communicating. We've established a set of assets for them to work with. But the builders are part of this equation, right? So it's like training and familiarizing. I'm calling them the builder messengers and guides. They're not going to be the definitive uh, deliverers in most cases of of the authoritative operational information, but they can be part of the the process, and um, you know that that's it at every layer la layer here, from the initial sales introduction to as folks are getting deeper into what's in the house itself of the design center, and then even the construction folks who are touching the consumer along the way in the, in the process. Speak, speak to some of that. Absolutely. We know that your sales teams, their, their focus is selling homes, not selling the technology. We don't really want them selling the technology or talking too in depth, right? We talked a couple days ago about knowing just enough to be dangerous. Knowing enough to not be not dangerous. Not be dangerous. <laughs> Sometimes we find that they know a little too much to be dangerous. Um, so introducing this is the technology that's going in the home and here's the benefits to the homeowners and still providing those resources where if there are questions during that sales phase, they can reach out to our dedicated team um, to answer those questions. The same for the design center. The design center teams, they're not trained to sell this technology necessarily. So providing them those resources and then arming the construction team when they're doing, when they're wrapping up those homes, when they're turning it over to the homeowner and doing the final walkthrough to educate them on that. And we talked earlier about getting the right information to the right people in the right time in the right way. And this is a perfect example of that. Mm -hmm. And then we think that part of getting that builder staff comfortable with the technology messages for them to maybe be using it and benefiting from it, right? Absolutely. We understand the importance that, that all of our builder partners um, have in protecting not only their assets with using technology in the model homes and in the spec homes, but also protecting their personnel. And there has to be, a, and there should be an encompassing um, ecosystem of technology to protect both of those. And ADT has done that with our free app. You can use it today. Your teams, your staff can use it today. You do not have to be an ADT customer to use this. It's our so secure app. And we know with like the traditional panic buttons that integrators have been installing forever and ever, that only works within the walls of that model home. So if I'm a if I'm a sales agent, a realtor, and I'm showing a home, a spec home, three or four um, streets away, everyone has their phone in their hand, so they can utilize that technology that's already in their hand to help give a level of safety and protection um, when they're somewhere else. So through the app, they can contact ADT as a dedicated special team um, that they can talk to us through a one button touch. They can text. They can use a secret phrase, and if there is an emergency event, we dispatch directly to their GPS location. So this is a this is an important piece um, to protect your staff as well. Yeah, I think there's also there's an emotional element to the training and onboarding as well as an informational, right? As, or like in sales we say the buyer believes what you believe. If you don't believe in the product, the buyer's not going if if there's all sorts of nervous un, under you know, I'm not familiar with that vibe being sent early in the game in the sales and the design center process and it's becoming a mystery or something to be afraid of, people are gonna be less receptive to those messages on how to operate it. Yeah. So I think getting the, a level of, hey, I use some of this same technology that you're gonna be using myself here. It's easy, I just use the, you know, not, not so much information as to this is exactly how it's gonna yeah. operate for you, but to give, a, communicate a comfort level with the basic operation of the systems and no better way to do that than to get them using it themselves, right? And sales is, is going to use it and the design center team is gonna use it because that technology should be in the models, should be in the design centers. So they're gonna use the, the hardware, they're gonna use the app, the interface, 
um, already. So they should, just by using it, they're going to be educated on how to present that solution to their home buyers. All right, let's keep going. This piece is called Designing and Guiding the User Training Journey. So we kind of got to map this out and then we got to participate in the activities along that, um, that map. So um, let's see what the boxes are that we added in here. Box one, uh, demonstrated and kinetic experiences in the model sales center and design center. Um, so I think what that's talking about is we've got a lot of um, uh, sales automation in the model that where you can actually see how the technology is operating and that lays a foundation and there's demonstrations in the models and sales centers and then, um, you know, some of that as well in the design center, not enough to turn the person into an expert operator, but there needs to be a little something down there. Speak to that. What are you guys doing with builders in, the, in these areas? Yeah, so this is the technology going the models in the design centers, and that's staff using the technology every day, using the app, using the hardware, um, just becoming part of their, their daily routine. Right. And... Um, Training during the walkthrough or turnover, what do we call it? What are the terms that you all use for when you are about to turn possession over and you are giving the buyer keys to the house? Is that called turn? What is the terminology? Final walkthrough. Final walkthrough. I want I want a list of the specific terms so I can speak the language here. I would also like a list because we only refer to it as final walkthrough. Delivery? Thank okay, you. Okay, so this is the delivery those moments of delivery, what, what are we going to do there from an onboarding and training perspective? So this is making sure that the construction team that's, that's delivering that home um, has, is educated, has gone through the onboarding and education as well, yeah. um, and has all the assets for the homeowner. Yeah. And I think Safe Haven, they have a rep from Safe Haven there at the moment of delivery, at the final walkthrough or whatever piece of that part uh, of that process is, they are there for, I want to say, up to an hour familiarizing um, the buyer with the system. Right. And it's not always. It's a lot of the time. And it's not them just showing up. They've communicated with the builder and also with the homeowner to schedule that training session. And what better time to learn that technology as soon as you get that home? Yeah. So, I mean, if, if stuff like this isn't happening with your buyers on your technology systems and they have some level of complexity, it, it ain't going to go well. <laughs> I mean, this is, a, I, I want you to know what to be looking for. So if you're, there isn't some attention paid, especially in this phase with the uh, delivery and Safe Haven's really resourced it well, you know, you're, we're probably not going to get off to a good start. Um, then I have uh, early support, phone, video, conference, and in person. This is key. And I want to mention that I know this looks like a lot. The integrator should be doing the bulk of this. Of this. We should be carrying this weight. Um, the support after the homeowner moves into their home is also key. So with ADT, we have a concierge team. We have a dedicated 800 number. And we have our dedicated community reps um, that are there as a resource for those homeowners. Even right. if they don't sign up for ADT, they still have that technology in their home. Right. They have a way, they, they're still a resource to answer questions. So they're like genius bar people, right? right. Basically field genius. I bar love whenever remote. we're called geniuses. So <laughs> sure. And these are some of the, who are these folks? So these are some of our dedicated um, builder community reps and their responsi responsibilities really focus on nurturing relationships with the community staff. This is both sales and install. And they do this so that um, the sales and install teams, that community staff knows who the boots on the ground are, who their local resources yep. um, they can go to. If they don't want to call an 800, it's an 800 number that answered directly by our team, yep. but call a number um, try to track down information. This picture, the two sunglassed people, that reminds me of uh, the movie Beethoven when they were trying <laughs> to buy his company. They, I think it's David Duchovny is one of the guys, but I don't know, for some reason it just grabbed me. Well, uh, can, Mike, can you make a, a note to pass that on, that <laughs> delivery? <laughs> um, and then the concierge, so you've got people in the field, 
who can have personal relationships, who can show people in person. And, and it might not happen instantly all the yeah. time, but it's going to get scheduled. And then you've got somebody at the call center. This is in a conference room at the call center. It's not in the skiff of the call center. We couldn't show any pictures in the call center itself. Co this is a conference room. But and it, the thing is, we don't. It, it's they don't sit in a call center. Uh -huh. um, so this isn't a traditional call center. They're going to homeowners going to be called ten times, pitching them on ADT. Our concierge team doesn't work that way. This is um, a dedicated team that their focus is customer service. And reaching out to that homeowner, the, that process begins before they've moved in. Congratulations um, on your new home. We'd like to schedule time to complete your training on the technology that comes in your new, with your new home. And you